you may have the wrath of Kevin Sullivan in your face. Jessica Alaban is going to have to do everything it takes to get the victory here tonight. This will be her eighth CCW Women's title defense. Uh, she's coming up on a year of, the, of being the CCW Women's Champion, and uh, we'll see if she'll be able to get there. Uh, she's a, a year next week. Will she escape tonight uh, on the return of Jessica Alaban, or will she uh, uh, lose? She'll lose the building that she, she uh, won it in. There it is. All it is. Here in Port St. Lucie, they do, you know, she, she gets a really different reaction here in this building than in other buildings. Uh, so I'm excited to hear. See, she gets a positive reaction here in St. Lucie. And, oh, disrespecting Jesse's robe, putting it on. There we go, already with the mind game. $8,000 sequin robe created in Japan. $8,000. I would be a little bit angrier if I was Jessica Alaban and she was wearing my robe. But maybe Jessica doesn't want to fall for those mind games. She's staying positive. She's sitting there waiting for Marina to turn around and take off that rope. Jessica Alabang is playing no games here. There she is. Single leg drop kick puts Marina right on the canvas. And why not another one? Puts her straight She's down. She's starting out a house of fire. Jessica Alabang, uh trained by Norman Smiley, trained by uh, Albert at the WWE Performance Center. Uh, she's, there. She has had so much experience now <laughs> going to stardom in Japan, going to uh, other promotions in Japan in an incredible six month plus excursion and reinvented herself. She's an incredible wrestler. She's a, she also has an incredible jujitsu background. But here's the thing. Marina Tucker, this is CCW's Marina Tucker's house. You can see right there with the elbow, and we're going to the outside. This is a slugfest. And it's a brawl. Who could be the greatest female wrestler on the planet? And if, you, if you're just getting punched in the face, it doesn't matter about it. Like Mike Tyson said, everyone's got a game plan until they get punched in the face, and they're going back and forth outside here. These women want this in the worst of ways. Marina Tucker trying to get things back in the ring, but Jessica Alabama says, uh-uh, as she grabs the hair, but Ref Amy catches her. Back in the ring, Elevan is stalking her. Right on oh. he made a misstep. Straight into the turnbuckle. Marina Tucker sends her opponent. And here she comes with the oh, lifting knee straight to the chest. Marina Tucker now snap bearing over. Going for the cover. One, two, and a two down there. Hardy putting in the damage on Jessica Elevan as she just slammed her. Face against the mat. Take to the lower spine, that will affect 
I spoke to Jessica before her trip to uh, Japan. Uh, obviously, you know, she was focusing on a uh, jujitsu and uh, mixed martial arts uh, training to add to her professional wrestling repertoire. Uh, she's she's had a lot of changes in her life, and I'm excited to see where she goes from here. And I'm I'm excited to see uh, if she's able to defeat Marina for that CCW Women's Championship. I think you know her being where she was for the last six months and changing and going and learning a new hold, if you will, uh, was great for her. Absolutely, Cecil can't agree with you more, but right now, Marina Tucker, but I, just as I say it, she gets double leg and now full mount reigning And it's a cat fight! In a cat fight indeed, but this- Raining fist down onto Marina, but Marina is tough. One of the toughest competitors, oh. female or male. Look at that CCW punch history. into the back of the head. That's illegal in MMA. She could knock out Marina with one of those. Marina knows the trouble when she senses it. She gets out of the ring. Jessica, oh. and <laughs> that sliding. And she didn't get all of it because Amy actually, referee Amy uh, uh, Veronica, she uh, she got in her way. Obstructed her slide. These women do not like each other. I mean, the strikes are getting thrown with everything behind them. They're slugging it out out here. This is a fight, ladies and gentlemen. There, right there, you see the head bouncing on the top of the, the apron there. Now Jessica again to the apron. Hey. You know, Tucker doesn't know where she is right now. Sometimes at this point in the match, you've got to take a breather. You're out there on the outside. You've got to be, you've got to be fatigued. Uh, you, you know, you're looking for your opportunity, and that there it is. Was it? Tucker with a forearm now. A little bit of showboating, saying, "Bring it to me." And Jessica brings it right toward three forearm strikes in a row to the mud. to installation of natural stone and quartz. Sick of seeing the same old kitchen? Revamp with us. Call us today or check us out online at bocastonedesign.com. And Marina Tucker with a veteran move coming in and breaking the count. I agree, but Ref Amy doesn't want to see this championship match end in disqualification or count out. Of course. So she is being more lenient, but like you said, Cecil, they're back in the ring. And Marina Tucker has done great damage. I like there's a cover, just a one count there, but just as she kicks out, she's grabbing onto that leg. So she's wearing her down again. She's going for the third pin attempt. Now you must be wondering, well, it's not working the first two times, but you see how she's changing her leverage? She's trying to wear down Elaban's uh, attempt at kicking out over and over and over. She's not trying to pin her, uh, per se. She's trying to just drain her energy. And there's and a girdle! New champ! Two! 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 
two. Was almost a three. We almost had a new champion there on the on the on the small package. Jessica is fighting back. Can she get something going here? Going for that scoop slam. Marina putting the brakes on it, but she's fighting through. Scoops her straight down with a body slam. Marina's back up to her feet. Jessica ducking that Larry, grab the arm, oh, just tossing it. Innovative her. maneuver, and that could be it. One, One two, two, and a two, two. two. Marina has more left in the tank. Jessica has to be thinking to herself, Caesar, what can she do to put away the champ? Crowd is loving what they're seeing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Postal Championship Wrestling, the premier independent wrestling in all of Florida. As Jessica with that kick straight to the chest of Marina. Oh, and another one. She's picked up a thing in two, or two in Japan, hasn't she? You can just tell right now. I got caught, scooped down. She's overmatching over. Marina in certain ways, but Marina's just tough. She's just tough. Jessica might have a broken nose after getting slammed on her knee like that. And here's another this count. This be it. One, two, and not, she knocked oh. her out. No, it didn't. Jessica just getting on. And like you said, CCW, CCWrestlingFL.com. We've got the best women's division in professional wrestling. We have, we have an incredible... Uh, roster of talent oh and just that single leg you want to call it independent wrestling we're the last territory time we are the last territory indeed and we are taking the wrestling scene by storm every month show after show competitors putting it all on the line like we're seeing here tonight and this is just a brawl this is just a fight and you can tell marina is being vicious now jesse has to match that viciousness big kick one. She knocked her out. Go for the Forget cover. About it. it's over. She is out. It is done. Pandor, you can count to 10, but she elects to pick her up and go for more offense. He's, I don't know if I agree with that. Fireman's carry position here. She's dragging Marina around. Oh, and Samoan drop. Going for the pin. One, two, no. Marina still fighting, still kicking out. Holding on to her championship. How long, though, Caesar? How much more can we to take when she's doing a smart strategy here? Going out to the outside again. Just Amy up. Veronica has got to take control of this man. Are we going to see another Samoan drop to the outside? What is this? Oh, there we go. Marina getting off. Slides out to the bag, but you, you, you put a forearm right oh! to the small of the back and then right into the post. And just through. Face first, Jessica, straight into that post. What is Marina doing here? Reaching under the ring? What is this? Is that a... Oh, that's a chair, Susan. And that... this match is not no disqualification. I don't agree with this. This was a great match. She doesn't need to wait. But wait, I think Jessica Jessica's saw got one as well. And then Marina... Ref Amy doesn't know what to do. Both competitors have a chair. Is this going to be a double disqualification? What is going to happen? Marina, whatever you do, don't turn around. Both chairs oh, collide. They both simultaneously. Stereo, stereo chair shots. That's a double DQ. A shame to see this match end this way, but it's been bad blood this whole time. It escalated. And fans. I'm sure fans are disappointed, but you know, if you're Jessica Elevan, you know that she's coming at you with that chair, you might as well grab that chair. Gotta got beat her to the punch. A shame it had to get these, like and, and it looks like Marina has hurt her knee. I know Jesse is in pain, and it's sad to see a match like this end, but it was an incredible match between two incredible uh, competitors. Absolutely incredible. The bad blood escalating. So both grabbing chairs, double disqualification. I don't think things are settled. I think we'll see this match, and I would have to ask the executive committee to make it a no disqualification. We have to see the return of this match because I would love to have seen what what you know. And if you're looking at Jessica right now, she's got to be thinking, look, the emotion got the best of me. Yes, she was going to attack me with a chair, but you're looking at Jessica Elevan. She wanted that title. She wanted to leave with that gold. I know that she has had, you know, she remains undefeated. It's a double disqualification. It, it, it's basically a wash taken from the record, but uh, she wanted that gold title.
You worked hard, started a family, and created a name for yourself in your professional circles. Your success created opportunities for your loved ones, to your family and community. You are a source of wisdom and financial support, and you take immense pride in putting others' needs ahead of your own. In these closing chapters of your life, a private estate at the Gardens of Boca Raton can memorialize your family name across generations. The Gardens of Boca Raton, two-time winner of Best of Palm Beach County. Calling all future stars of professional wrestling. The CCW training facility is open in South Florida. If it has always been your dream to enter the squared circle, then the CCW training facility is the first step in making that dream come true. All of our trainees will participate at our live events and be part of our weekly TV show. Classes are forming now for referees, managers, and for male and female wrestlers. Call 954-397-6421 or visit our website at ccwrestlingfl.com and find out how you can make an impact on the pro wrestling scene. Call or click today. And it's standing at six foot four. There he is. 300 pounds. The main event monster, Adman Fulton. This guy's been everywhere, you name it, WWE Impact. He's been a star everywhere he goes, and he is taking CCW by storm. But out of all the places he's been, I don't know if he's ever seen anyone like Skits. Obviously, Madman Fulton is going to have the size advantage, the power advantage, the experience advantage, advantage after advantage, but Skits is used to these types of situations. Skits, it, he brings a whole different animal to this game, and we are going to see him, and this match is just going to be up. Straight from the Haunted Hills Asylum. Skits is out here. The people love them some Skits. And uh, folks, his name is not Skits for just jokes and laughs. This man is Schizophrenic. One of the most unique, interesting enigmas in all of professional wrestling today. You'd never know what to expect when Skits is in this ring. A fan favorite. These people can't get enough of skits. Madman Fulton not impressed at all. And look at him. His body contorting. And Fulton putting his back towards his opponent. No respect for skits. Skits is going to have to earn Madman Fulton's respect. Look at Fulton, he doesn't understand why these people love Skits so much, but I think he's soon going to find out as Skits is bobbing along with the chance. He's giving himself a round of applause. And that man Fulton, do not underestimate Skits. I don't care how big you are, how much experience you have. And he, he better not be distracted with the fans. We've seen that earlier tonight, how that could bite you on the rear end. And here he goes. Skits ducks right out of it and gives him a hey. Oh my. Skits rushing away the bad breath. Madman Fulton screaming in his face. I mean, just, I would not be, want to be in the ring with that man. And look at that ducking the clothesline. Skits using that speed to his advantage. He's going to have to. He puts on the brakes and Madman Fulton, what's Skits got? Look up there. Oh. Skits might want to think of a better strategy than that. Madman Fulton ate that shot like a sandwich, and now he's just got a hold of Skits. Oh! He just struck Skits down to the center of the mat. Skits' chest is probably caved in. Skits now rethinking a little bit. 
Put it in his hand up in mercy. Please, no more. What is this? Did Skitch just cough out a flame card? Or multiple flame cards, it looks like. Madman Fulton is not here to play games, but he just got those throw cards pushed into his face as the coffin drop off the springboard. Skits has Madman stunned, but Madman reverses the Irish whip. Skits gives him those boots up to the face. Skits is rushing in. I mean, Skits just catching every turnbuckle he can, but he just got caught in the middle of the air. Madman Fulton gonna show that power up. He's gonna dump him to the outside. Oh, no. Thank goodness he would have squashed Skits out there. But no, Skits just keeps holding on. He's not letting go. Madman Fulton can't get him off of him now. Swinging him side to side. Skits holding on for dear life. I don't think I've ever seen this strategy employed to get out of a toss. Madman Fulton's never seen this strategy. He is confused. The fans are loving it. Skits ain't letting go. He knows what's gonna happen if he lets go. But Madman Fulton overpowered him and he just drives him down with that knee. And he just tosses him over, but Skits lands on his feet. The work ain't done as he gets kicked in the back. Skits driving down those punches. Madman Fulton, too big, too strong. But again, turning his back towards Skits and Skits is gonna play those mind games all day long if you give him a chance. Madman Fulton rushing in. Skits just barely get him in with a skull bar, but he just gets out. Madman just grabbed the hold of Black Hole Slam, and that could be it. Is Madman Fulton going to go for the pin just like that, folks? It could be over, but no, he's just devastating Skits. He is an angry main event monster right now. Skits has done a great job at pissing off Madman Fulton. Fulton coming down, straight across the throat with that elbow. Two count, no, I thought it was gonna be three. Skits barely escaping. Skits is so resilient. He has that craziness inside him to kick out no matter what. He will keep fighting, but folks, I don't know how much more he can take. Madman Fulton is just so much powerful than Skits. But this is where Skits has that advantage. He has that crowd behind him. And Madman Fulton getting distracted, wasting time. He's got a head full of Skits hair. The referee doesn't want to step in there again. But this monster here, look at him. He's just tossing back and forth Skits' head into that turnbuckle. Just mocking the crowd while destroying their favorite. The little kids up there showing their sign of disapproval. It doesn't matter as the release suplex tosses Skits from one side of the ring to the other. Fulton is unfazed right now. He is having fun destroying Skits. Skits needs a change in pace really badly as the vertical suplex. This could be it. Rocky cover there, but Skits makes him pay for it. Getting the kick out, did not go for the full cover. And Madman Fulton's getting a little bit incensed here. He's getting frustrated, he's trying to show the crowd how big and bad he is, but he still cannot put away Skits, and you know that's gotta be eating at him. Skits crawling, scratching, trying to get it up to his feet, fighting that pain. Madman's looking for the choke slam. He's got his hand wrapped around Skits' throat. He's gonna send him to, no! No, he, Skits gets out. He throws a drop. He throws a forearm, shot, forearm. It doesn't matter though. Yes and no. No, he eats it again in a choke slam. Straight down. That is it. No, 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 no. What's that three go? The ref is saying two. Skits kicked out. How the hell did he kick out that one? He's not going to kick out this one. I mean, what guts and heart by Skits. And he kicked out again. This is unbelievable. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody kick out of two 
consecutive choke slams. Madman Fulton has stunned everybody here in the CCW arena of Port St. Lucie. I mean the mid Florida Event Center. I'm getting tongue tied as I am in shock that Skitch just kicked out of those two choke slams. Madman Fulton is wasting time here. I can't blame him. He thought this match was well and done. Skitch keeps fighting. What is Madman gonna have to do to put away Skits? He's gonna have to. Oh, Skits just throwing him off and we know that it make Madman angry. Getting the boot up. If there's one thing that not is not in the vocabulary of Skits, and that is the word quit. As he gets out of the way and Madman eats that second turnbuckle head first, Skits fighting back. Forearm, forearm. It's creating separation. He's gonna look for something here in the corner. Madman makes him pay with the big boots. What a mad crowd. Oh no, no, no. Madman is looking for the kill here. He wants to completely destroy Skits. Skits will not have anything left in him if Madman pulls this off. Skits needs to get out of it the worst of way. Super power bomb! Is he gonna get it? Oh my god! But look at Skits pulling the hair! He's got a handful of the hair. The referee needs to make him let go. But Skits is doing anything it takes, but it might not matter. Skits throwing right hands to the forehead. Hurricane Rana! I am sorry, fans. I'm losing my voice. Huge! Hurricane Rana takes down the big man. Skits is all over him. He's got to take advantage. I can't believe it. Listen to these people. Drop kick there by Skits. He's got Madman Fulton. We have not seen Madman Fulton on his back like this this whole match. Skits has got to pull something out that we haven't seen, but wait. Rising to his feet with a nip up. Still keeping the choke. Oh my god! Choke! Windbreaker right there! Lung blower! Did he kick out? No! Absolute way! Skits just kick out of that! I have never seen that move before! A modified choke slam into a lung blower! Folks, this is unbelievable! I can't believe it! And look at Madman arguing with the crowd. They're telling him it was only two, and the ref said it was two. Skits showing those guts. He's an insane man kicking out of all of this. He needs to take advantage. I don't know if Skits knows where he is right now. You're in Port St. Lucie. You're fighting the biggest fight of your life. Come on, Skits. Take the big man down. I don't know. He's still got the playing card. Madman says it's no time to play games, Power Bomb. And he's still got it, folks. Power Bomb. And what is this? Into a lion tamer. He's gonna stretch Skits out. Skits has to tap out if he knows what's good for him. But he did not tap out. He passed out to the pain. His body couldn't take it no more. But. Madman Fulton could not pin Skits. He could not make Skins tap out. He had to make Skits pass out. If Skits isn't one of the most resilient wrestlers I have ever seen, I don't know who is. What a match. Destiny Awaits has been an unbelievable show. But this was only the co-main event. We still have the CCW Heavyweight Championship match. And you know with a win like that, Madman Fulton is going to keep his eye on tonight's main event for that CCW Heavyweight Championship. But, I mean, take nothing, nothing away from Skits. He gave it everything and more tonight. I've never seen such a resilient competitor. The schizophrenic one, Skits, doesn't get the victory here tonight. Falls just short, passing out to the pain of the main event monster, Madman Fulton.
gets rolling out. Referee assisting and gets to his feet. What a match, folks. These people are loving what they're seeing here in Coastal Championship Wrestling. We'll be back here in Port St. Lucie for the Spooky Carnival, October 28th. Buy your tickets now. CCWrestlingFL.com. Get them, they're selling fast. Do you want to be a mark? Or do you want to leave a mark? I'm smarter than the average bear. 